good news from Tucson today. It will be Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's last night in the hospital there. She'll be moving to Houston tomorrow morning to begin rehab. And as Ryan Owens reports, her husband and doctors shared other encouraging signs of progress. For the first time in almost two weeks, Gabby Giffords saw sunlight today. Doctors wheeled her outside to a hospital deck. Her husband, Mark Kelly, says he believes she's trying to talk to him, mouthing words she can't yet speak because of the tube in her throat. Well, I'm extremely hopeful that Gabby's going to make a full recovery. She'll be walking, talking, and in two months you'll see her walking through the front, front door of this building. She is beginning to stand with assistance. She's scrolling through an iPad. These are all fantastic advancements forward. They do indicate higher cognitive function, but I do want to caution everyone that she has a long road ahead of her. The next stop on that road is this rehabilitation hospital in Houston. Tomorrow, Giffords will be flown by air ambulance to Texas, where she will meet her new team of doctors, led by Colonel John Holcomb, one of the Army's top trauma surgeons. His experience treating soldiers in Iraq makes him uniquely qualified to help the Congresswoman. What we need to do is make a good medical plan, and the time to do that is after we get our chance to look at her and examine her and talk to her. Houston is also home to the Johnson Space Center, so at some point Mark can go back to work as an astronaut and still be there every night for his wife and two teenage daughters. I know one of the first things Gabby's going to want to do as soon as she's able to, is start write, writing thank you notes. And I've already reminded her of that. There is a lot of risk involved in moving a patient who, remember, is still in serious condition. But her doctors are confident that Giffords can handle it. Her trauma su surgeon joke today will be doing the heavy lifting. And George, we've just found out that her husband and her mom will be along for the ride. That is great, and we all hope that prediction comes true. Okay, Ryan, thanks very much.